All right, welcome back everybody. Been a while since I've recorded any engine videos. What I'm going to try to show you today is how to fit the distributor spacing wise. I'm not doing any distributed timing. A little bit less complicated than the cam timing, but it still has a unique, uh, unique method here. If you can see the picture in front of you, number four there, that inner diameter washer is what I'll point out. So I have that in between the base and the distributor gear, which I just put in there. I'm going to grab a socket here and turn the motor and you can see the distributor gear start to turn. Sorry about the shadow. And eventually it's going to drop in just down a little bit here as the gear from the cam engages flush and it drops into where the oil pump housing is. So the crankshaft turns via cam chain to the cam and the gear on the cam engages that distributor gear. That turns, turns the distributor and the bottom of that engages with the oil pump and that turns the oil pump. So what I'm putting down now is the distributor pedestal. And what you have to get is you have to get an end float to give it a little bit of space in there so it's not real tight. It doesn't mess up the bearing. So I have that washer. I've measured the thickness of the washer. and It's just a washer that will fit down in there. You have to have it, the uh, inner diameter has got to be about a half an inch so that it fits down the shaft. So you put that washer in there and then you put the distributor housing down. And then I'm going to grab some feeler gauges here in a minute and I'm going to measure the distance between the block and the pedestal housing. And that's going to be the end float. Now that distance is going to be taken up by paper gaskets and of course that distance has a spec. So what I'm doing here is measuring the distance between the block and the distributor pedestal and I'll take that number so I'm just stacking feeler gauges on top of each other to try to find the right number and that I've already measured the thickness of the washer and I take those two and I mathematically compare them and then once they're compared I do the math and then I have to add packing in between those two paper gasket wise to make up the spec to get to that spec. The uh, the gasket kit that I purchased I think came with two if not three paper gaskets and that the paper itself was of varying thickness so I had more than enough And now with the distance measured, and I don't remember what it was off the top of my head, disassemble everything. You'll see I'll pull this washer out here in a second, get that washer out of there. I'm sticking my finger in there to get the washer out. And now I'm going to essentially reassemble it, but now with the paper gasket, and I'll take that to the workbench, set the paper gasket up so that it fits properly. So now I have to get the distributor timing correct so that that gear that runs the distributor is in the right spot with comparison to the camshaft. So what the tech manual tells you to do here is to get number one piston to top dead center on the compression stroke. So I'm going to find that area, find that spot. And then once I find that spot, you can see I think that the, the gear just dropped down a little bit. But once I find that spot with number one piston on the compression stroke at top dead center, then I want to set that gear up. So I'll lift that gear up here in a second and I'll drop it back down so that it aligns with the picture in the tech manual, which I'll show you here in just a second when I come around. So I'm still lining it up, coming around trying to find my compression stroke, just uh, checking out the valves and the motion that they've done. It's not real obvious that I'm doing that. So now I'll pick this gear up spin it a couple times so that the gear properly installs. Now I'm going to rotate the camshaft a little bit, or excuse me, I'm going to rotate the crankshaft a little bit here. And I think somewhere in here you'll see the gear drop down, drop down a little bit there. And you can see I bring it back to number one on the top dead center. And then I'm going to compare where that gear is sitting and the direction of the slot that's cut in the top of it compared to the picture in the tech manual. So here's the picture out of the tech manual. It's not a real great reproduction but you'll notice the part Bravo says the Spitfire and what it is it's rotated just slightly clockwise of uh, straight across 
So again, I'm kind of going into the shadow there, and I apologize, but what you're looking at right there is just about the right spot for uh, for where it goes. And if it doesn't fit up properly when you're at Dumber Top Dead Center, you just got to lift that gear up a little bit, rotate it, you know, which way you need to go, and then kind of drop it back down. So now I've already pre-measured my gaskets on the bench. I got those ready to put down, putting the, uh, the pedestal on top of it. And again, those gaskets are going to set that end float, get that pedestal down there and uh, in preparation for getting the distributor down I'll bring the distributor over here in just a second put that down in the hole and then you just have to make sure that you engage the actual drive of the distributor with the gear it's uh, slotted so it's kinda hard not to do but if you can get rotation of the rotor then you're not engaged so you see I'll put this down here a little bit just to kinda make sure that it fits in and then I'll try to rotate that rotor a little bit won't get any rotation of the rotor and let them know it's locked in. And then as I spin the distributor, you can see the rotor stays locked, and that's as it should be. So now that I'm happy with the way that fit up and it actually worked the way that I thought it would, now I'm getting that some of that gasket cinch on there, which is my adhesive for my paper gaskets. Just getting that uh, all covered up in there. You do have to watch this stuff a little bit because it will eat your paint, which I found out. And you see, I can I try to keep the seating surface relatively free of paint. Not perfectly, but uh, get that gasket cinch stuff on there. I'll put the paper gasket down. I've already gasket cinched the opposite side on the pedestal. So now I've got the pedestal going down onto the studs, and I've also got the locking ring for the distributor on there already. That gets bolted to the pedestal. You can't do that uh, before you, you put the pedestal on or before you put the distributor on. That, that uh, locking ring has got to go on there before you put the distributor down. So just essentially getting it bolted down here. I'll get the bolts tightened up and uh, get the distributor on here. Those snugged up. There was no spec provided in the tech manual for it, so I used the same spec as for the fuel pump, 12 to 14 foot-pounds because they were the same size bolt, so I figured that would be a safe way to go. And then with that torque down, now I'll take the distributor, drop that guy down again, make sure it's uh, looking okay down in there, I guess. Drop that down. Again, make sure that my rotor shaft is engaged. Make sure it doesn't spin. Once it's locked in, I know that I'm good to go and it's in the slot. And uh, really, that's, uh, that's about it. Put the cap on. Cap has got a very small little nib, nib in it that you kind of lock in there. It's sometimes not real easy to find, but uh, it is directional. You see I'm double checking there just to find it. Sometimes it doesn't fit real well. Kind of hard to find. I'm going to get that locked in. Put the uh, clipped cap on, even though I've obviously still got a lot of work, but just to make it look pretty and give you the kind of the finished product there. And uh, hopefully that's, uh, that's about what it'll look like. Now, obviously, I haven't set any distributor timing or anything yet. Still, still free to rotate until I tighten that bracket up, but, but that's what it should look like when you're done. And with that, that's all I got for to uh, for this video. Please, uh, please keep uh, keep watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate uh, all your support still, and hopefully, I'll get a little better with putting these uh, engine videos out. Cheers.